and then steam donkeys, the various kinds, just engines that ran on, this one is wood, clearly, but at some point they changed to oil. Maybe they're all oil. It's hard to say. This steam donkey looks like it was a grinding mill or something. I've never seen this model before. That's unique. Alright, more steam donkeys. That's a Lidger wood. It looks smaller. This one's the biggest steam donkey yet I've ever seen. Several gears, huge smokestack. That thing was putting out a lot of power and smoke. People who worked the slacks line were risking their lives. That is the worst. With the, the lines, the cables, they could break and then snap back and kill you. They say right there. So, that's a risk. And then they put the logs on carts. My battery is about to die. So, I, I don't know where my spare battery I forgot to bring it. I got three spare batteries and they're all sitting. History of the locomotive. And then a Bear Harbor thing. More lo Two locomotives on either side. And then more carrying stuff for logging. Only 4% of the redwoods exist now. Of the old growth. There seems to be a lot of bums around here. Just passing back and forth. When I was parked at the, well I'm still parked there. Parked in the mall. It's a lot of, a lot of trash evidence. makes me think of Aberdeen a lot. Just all that slough. Looks like lower tide. Alright, this, this is part of a park. There's a lot of lumber over there. I'm guessing it's for construction. I'm a little surprised to see two RVs there. It's kind of showing that maybe it's abandoned. Get a good look at that slough in the old construction. An old railway. Wow, that's crazy. Built right on the slough. Some homeless person left their stuff here. It's safe at a distance, right? Safe on the dock. Also, a crab fisherman has tossed his line in here in hopes of catching something. Wow, that is amazing. You can see how the rails are all bent out of shape. They're just letting it fall into the water. That's amazing. Be deep, but that seagull was walking right on the seaweed here. Oh, maybe it's okay, it's not that deep, but still, it's deep enough where you should be underwater. If only these lumberjacks could see the, their descendants. How, how they've uh, their culture developed after the lumberjack days. If only they could see the changes. I bet that things were looking pretty bright back in the lumberjack days. All the potential trees to to uh, turn into amazing things, and and it's all gone into disrepair in uh, in the name of environmentalism, which is a very good cause. But the, but the people are just amazing around here. 
and I don't know if they're real descendants of the lumberjacks or if they're all transients kind of like me but these people don't have, really seem to have cars and <laughs> to get from city to city it uh, takes more than walking and even bicycling because the roads are so dangerous it's taken me a long time to build up my confidence for propane cooking but now I'm starting to think that I could have probably been cooking in San Francisco no problem just do it in the back of my car actually the big the big issue probably would be that I didn't have this board at the time this board really uh, flattens things out although I'm parked on an angle here uh, it's it's at least providing stability all right I wa just walked by a bum with a large bag of popcorn so I think I'm probably heading towards the food bank that's probably a good sign This lady was taking so many calls here at this food bank and it turns out that they're doing appointments so I, I could choose a time to come in everybody calls in or stops out in for a an appointment an appointment and it's making the, the lady at the front work extra hard I believe they drop this on the sidewalk all right weird around here downtown somewhere Air pollution is very bad around here. You can't see it though. There's a really nasty air pollution though. I can smell it. It's hard to breathe in too. What are they burning? That is an abandoned shack. It's no way to reach it without stepping on water. See all the water. They've done work out here. I think they made channels to try to soak up the water. But the, the global warming, the elevation is too high. All right, so left is five miles for Coast Guard Samoa Dunes. I don't think I can make it that far. Five miles from this point. I've already traveled that length. Alright, so this is some of the island of Samoa. They got a... What a weird noise. I guess I mainly just wanted to take a look at the ocean from the Samoa Island. It would be very nice to get to the end, but we can't. <sighs> I don't know, I, I might run out of water. I didn't really plan for a big long trip. This out, somebody had this laying right on a bush. Put it on my bicycle and call it my pet now. All right, so it looks like the beach in Eureka is mostly of a lower elevation. There's no trees, not like uh, you'd find in Washington. Not many, yeah, it's like bits and pieces here and there. Any trees that might wash upon the shore here probably do come from Washington. But yeah, there's no rocks sticking out of the ocean or anything. Everything is just a low elevation out here. This, uh, might, this looks more like surfable. When you got low elevation like this, it's mostly flat and shallow, probably out, out quite a distance, which would make it more of a surfable atmosphere. So this washed up on shore, I'm guessing it's a plastic ball that probably floated. It's all beat up. I don't know, whatever. It seems like the same kind of beach in Washington. Yeah, see that white stuff right there? The same kind of beach in Washington where I found that agate and I was actually told you could find agates on that beach. This is that same kind of beach where just individual rocks show up on this dark sand, small granule sand beach. Although now that I think about it, the, the rocks were much more numerous 
than than this. So you're yeah, you'd have less of a chance here.